So again, there's three as far as decisions that happen every moment of our lives. The first one is what do you focus on? The second is once you notice something you focus on, the first thing your mind goes to is what does this mean? You try to interpret it. Is it going to mean pain or is it going to mean pleasure? And depending on which one you think it is, will determine what you do next. If you view a situation and you believe it's the end or the beginning, if you believe it's the end, the act that you, and the action you take is going to be different. Does that make sense? Like if you're in a relationship and you believe it's the beginning of a relationship, you're going to show up a lot different than if you think it's the end of a relationship how you communicate, what you say, how you show up emotionally in your presence. So we can view situations that are difficult in our lives a lot of different ways. Like how many of me, how many of you guys have had situations in your life that are extremely difficult and you ask yourself the question, is God punishing me? Yeah, and so that can be a belief. So if you view things that are happening to you that God is punishing you, then you're going to show up and you're going to act a lot of different, a lot different than if than if you believe that it's actually a gift from God, a situation. So I can view my foot getting crushed, or my son can view him getting hit by a car and having a concussion and a broken collarbone as why is God trying to punish me and wreck my life? But because my son got in a car accident, broke his collarbone, had a concussion, he had an MRI and found out that he had an AVM. A, tumor type assist thing in his brain that if he left it alone he could have had a brain bleed and a stroke and could die and so that car accident actually saved his life but how easy it is to look at that and be so negative or to look at it that god's punishing me when it's actually a gift from god so do you do you view things in your life as it's happening to you or is it happening for you and just those two distinctions will drive you so far to one side or so far to the other and how you view it and what actions you're going to take. If you're stressed and angry all the time, if you live with fear and stress and have all the money in the world and are still unhappy, because you're focusing on the things that are not giving you life. The meaning that you give things, like everything, gives you an emotion, creates a feeling and emotion inside. And from that, and those emotions filter what you do. If you are fearful and stressed, will you do, will you do something different than if you felt determined, happy, and powerful? What if you were curious, joyful, and focused in everything, in every situation that showed up? What would you do? And that's the third thing. The third, as far as decision that happens subconsciously or consciously in every moment, is what will you do? And the decision of what you do is you can find role models out there or you can make yourself your own role model. They can give you a pathway or you can create your own pathway. But you have the choice and you have the decisions to make. So again, all this, I know I'm going a little bit long. Sorry, we're 43 minutes in. But again, it all comes down to what you focus on. What are you focusing on as I'm sharing this? Do you focus on, I don't have time for this? It's 43 minutes in, I wanted to be out in a half hour. Or are you focusing on that you're actually learning and growing and getting something out of this? So what's controlling your as far as decisions in life? A lot of it is just how you show up. What state you show up every day when you wake up in the morning and when you interact with people or you show up for practice or your kids come walking in the door your state you're in will dictate how you react. If you're stressed and worried and anxious and someone walks in, how are you going to typically respond? 
versus if you're happy, full of joy and excited for life and your son or daughter walks in, you're not going to be frustrated. You're going to be super stoked to see him and you're going to give that energy back and it's going to be a great experience. So it's what state do you show up every day? It's like, think about if like our, um, it's like, what state do you show up in back to racing? What state are you in before you start a workout or you start a race? If you're in a state of worry, anxiety, fear, feeling un unprepared, feeling weak, that state and that dialogue and that belief that you put in yourself will create how you show up, how you execute that workout and the energy that you bring to it and how you execute that race and the energy you bring to it and how you view every situation that's happening in that race. And if you show up every workout or every race with confidence, belief, knowing that you put everything out there, knowing you can't do anything else to make a change and let it all go and just show up and just see what the day brings and get the most out of it and look for the positives, look for the things that can actually bring you to success. Look for the things that are unique and different that no one else sees. Look for, look for the breeze and which way the breeze is coming from. Look for if there's a tailwind coming. Look if there's someone coming up. What hill's coming up? What gear do you want to be in before you get there? I mean, there's so many things about life that relates to like racing and how you approach it. So I know this talk was super broad, but understanding that everything comes down to what we focus on and the decisions we make subconsciously or consciously. So exercise that muscle and make yourself think consciously how you show up and how you think. Because if you're not thinking about it consciously, you will revert back to the habits of your unconscious. And think about how you view life. If you view life as a test, you'll act, you'll act a certain way. If you view life as a battle and a struggle, you'll view it and show up differently. Or what if you viewed life as a gift and a privilege? For me in the last year or so what helped me shift in my life i was like if i only had a year left to live what would i want to leave behind what would i do with that year that i had left would i want to go on vacation the process for me oh maybe i'll go on vacation and my family will go somewhere and we can go surf we can go for a hike or we can have adventure and that's all great i'd probably want to spend pieces of time in that year doing that but for me, it was a shift of like, if I only have a year, how many people can I encourage? How many people can I inspire? How many people can I help shift their life to like step into everything they're called to and everything they can, as far as can rise up and be? And so that's why I'm like dedicated. That's why I'm part of this team is because there's so much more besides just triathlon that I want to give back to this community. And so that's that's what I wanted to share. And that's what I'm committed to going forward is bringing everything that I have, my experiences, my life, my success, my knowledge and everything and help you guys as much as I can. So that's it. Thanks, Coach Chris. Um, guys, thank you so much for being on the call tonight. I think I'm seeing all the the messages coming in. Um, Roman wrote, I feel like I could run through a brick wall. Um, and then some others, I feel like everyone... Uh, it appreciates your knowledge and time, Chris. So thank you so much. Um, and guys, I know we've gone over, so I won't take too much time. Uh, I'll let you know midweek. It is a holiday week. So we'll let you know if there is going to be a call next Sunday or not. But otherwise, we'll be back right after that. And um, if you guys have any questions as far as what Chris spoke about tonight and you do want to get a hold of him, uh, just let us know. It's Chris at NVDM Coaching. I think most of you guys know he does performance calls. He's been working with a lot of athletes as well. Been very successful uh, or helpful in helping athletes with whatever challenges they may be going through. Um, so yeah, we appreciate it. Bye everyone. There you go.